Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com and today we are looking at the latest release from Stone Brewing, their latest collaboration release I should say. This is their Stone Farking Wheaton Woot Stout 3.0 coming in at 13% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, this beer is basically a collaboration between Greg Cook, um, Drew Fark, and Will Wheaton. Um, they've done this three times. Last year, Greg wasn't part of it. They did it with Aisha Taylor, the comedian. What it is, it's a gigantic imperial stout uh, brewed with cocoa, pecans, wheat, and rye, and one quarter of it is aged in bourbon barrels and then blended back into a fresh batch. This year, though, they actually took last year's batch, put it in a bourbon barrel for a year with stone ground chocolate, and then blended that into this one as well. So it's kind of like a super version. So I've loved all two batches so far. I've had this one draft, not to lie, the 3.0 uh, before I've had a bottle. So with that said, let me get into a glass so you guys know it smells taste. Give me the final verdict on the Stone Woot Stout. All right, guys, the aroma on the Woot Stout 3. Wow, you get subtle bourbon, vanilla, pipe tobacco, oakiness, dark chocolate, some dark fruits in there. So I'm definitely get the pecan. It's like a, like a, like a butter roasted pecan. Just a really, really intense smelling beer. All right, guys, the taste on the Woot Stout. Cheers. Oh wow, yeah. Right at the front of the tongue. Nice bite of chocolate a milk chocolate, like a cocoa uh, type of flavor. Middle of the mouth, just coach your mouth. Very, very viscous feeling beer. Um, you're definitely getting that bourbon barrel. I get a lot more bourbon barrel in this than I did in the previous batches. Um, it's not like in your face, but it's definitely there. You get vanilla, you get the chocolate, a slight kind of char. I'm getting a lot of dark fruits, some fig and raisin. Definitely getting the pecan in this one as well. It's kind of a nutty, uh, like a nutty chocolatey flavor in there as well. Sweet in the aftertaste, in the aftertaste, getting more vanilla, more of that oakiness, pipe tobacco, a little bit of sweet kind of toasted coconut, chocolate, a little bit of coffee in there as well. It drinks like a really, really big, aggressive beer. You know, for being such a high ABV beer, you actually don't taste or feel too much of the alcohol. It's hidden really, really well. That's a fantastic beer. I guess the final verdict on the Stone Woot Stout 3.0 available now. Limited time, so get it while you can, guys. This one is getting an A, and this is probably my favorite one so far, just because there is a lot more bourbon characteristic to it. I think the previous two had a little bit. It was very subtle. You kind of had to dig for it. This one, it's definitely more prominent. You're getting that toast of coconut, vanilla, but it's blending with the really nice base beer, the big kind of chewy, chocolatey, dark fruit, uh, a little bit of nuttiness in there. It's a really, really interesting take on the style, and I really enjoy it. It's getting an A. If you haven't had the previous batches, definitely check this one out. Getting an A. Remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.